Troy Aiken's MTU plant today. The plant is not only known for its manufacturing of large engines, but also for its high school apprenticeship programs. NBC 26's Wen Lei was there. Not many students can say they've worked to put together an engine of this caliber, but these high school students can. Through MTU's two-year apprenticeship program, students learn the skills to assemble the engines, and because of its success, the program has attracted the state superintendent, Dr. Molly Spearman. To see these four students who are finishing our two are finishing out their apprenticeship program two is getting started. Uh, they can speak articulately about the job. They're excited. They take pride in the work. They realize that their work is relevant. Spearman says although South Carolina is leading the way in manufacturing, apprenticeship programs are still very new to the American educational system. NTU is leading the way, and Spearman wants to do the same throughout the state. I think you're going to see more opportunities like this offered. Uh, I am going to be working to bring more access to all of our students across South Carolina for strong career programs. Students like Taekwon Corbett can attest to the program's success. I never thought I would be 16 years old in a plant working. I've learned how to read blueprints. I've learned how to measure stuff with calibers. I never thought I know how to use. Learn how to use a lot of gauges. That's very tricky. Nigeria Williams has won Trainee of the Year and a trip to Germany, where MTU is headquartered. It's given me a great work ethic, and it's going to give me a good chance to have an easy way from the transition from high school to workforce. MTU not only pays these students for their work, but also provides them with scholarship and tuition aid. These students receive training and certification to get a job right out of high school. Here for you, Wen Lei, NBC 26.